All right, today I wanted to talk about the importance of building on your foundation and refining that process. One of uh, the joys that I have as a coach is continuing to work with junior players over the course of years and really being able to see the hard work that they put in um, and to see the results over, over time. So um, in this video, I pulled up um, a, a bunch of clips of, of Brian. Brian's a student of mine that we've, we've been working together for two and a half, three years. Um, and I wanted to really go over the importance of how we built Brian's foundation as well as how we've refined that process over the years. So in this first clip, you're going to notice um, this is right when I started working with Brian. Um, and you're going to see that, you know, his rhythm and timing is, is halfway decent here uh, to begin with. But he's relatively static um, in terms of his weight transfer. All right. In this next clip, what I have him doing is this is maybe three months after the fact. I have right away Brian working on his foundation um, in terms of creating a, a load there so that he can transfer into the ball, up and into the ball. So you can see the difference between how static he is here in this clip, all right, as opposed to what he's doing right now. He's he's generating some load and energy going up into the serve, all right? Um, the, the following clip here, you're gonna notice this is maybe six months, uh, six months time span. So Brian's grown, he's gotten a bit bigger, a bit stronger. Um, and you can see the difference here in the foundation and, and how we've layered and, and built on that. So um, we've started to create more load with his legs um, his hips as well as his shoulders. Brian started to evolve into this pinpoint stance. Stance um, that is uh, something that I did not teach him to do. It just evolved out of this process of trying to get him to be more explosive. Um, so you know, again, you can see one thing. This is you know to my point why this is a process, and things don't start to come together overnight. Um, you know, you can see his back leg here is starting to kick up and around um, in this pinpoint, which is opening up his hips a little bit too much. As the videos um, start to um, come together, you're going to see that that is one of the things that we uh, started to clean up. And that's part of this process of refining the foundation. But structurally, um, you're going to see in these videos, it's really all the same, right? His rhythm, his tempo um, is really almost the same as it was in that first video. Um, we're just continuing to layer and add in uh, the components necessary for him to evolve and to be able to use his serve as, as a weapon. I'm going to pause there. You can see how much different... Um, you know, his load is again, his, his, uh, pinpoint is, is a little bit better than it was a couple clips ago. The torque and elastic energy that he's creating in his hips and his shoulders is so different. And all we've really done is just slowly, uh, add these, add these, um, these components to his serve over the course of time. All right, and there he goes. He's really creating a lot more uh, energy up into the serve, becoming more explosive. Um, and this is, again, a bit more where we are at as of current. Um, so, you know, again, you're going to notice, let me kick it back just a little bit, you know, the Brian's load, his ability to go up into the serve, he's much more explosive now than uh, what he was a year and a half ago, two years ago. Um, a last clip here from the back. Okay, and, and I'm actually gonna pause it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show, this is another, another item that had come up um, in terms of just little details and some of the refinement work that we did. If you look at Brian's grip here, um, he's, he's about where he should be. Um, and I want to kick it back to, let's see, this clip here. I'm going to pause it there. You can see where he's actually, he's almost at a high Eastern. And he's also went through a period of time where he was putting his thumb up on the grip for whatever reason. 
um, and you can see the racket head angle is relatively open. So because of this, as he began creating more torque and more speed to his serve, he went through a period of time where he was missing long a little bit. And um, so what we did was, is we not only fixed the thumb, but we al allowed his grip to evolve into a more uh, continental to um, slightly eastern backhand continental grip. Um, and you can see if I go back here, the difference on this, right, where, there we go. Okay, where that has evolved and changed, and that's been, you know, that essentially evolved and changed uh, out of necessity. So um, we'll let it fully roll here. But Brian's done an amazing job. He's put in a lot of hard work into this process, and uh, it certainly hasn't ha happened overnight. So um, hopefully you found this video helpful. And um, again, be patient with yourselves. It is a process. Enjoy the journey and keep at it like the video, give us a thumbs up, please subscribe, more to come. Thanks everybody.